Hey guys, welcome back to the 240 Drift. This is Brock here, and today we're trying to get the 240 home from winter storage. Now, we've had to run a U-Haul trailer because our car hauler is not ready yet. We're going to be picking it up in a couple of days. But the issue is, we had to get up to like 17 inches or something ridiculous on the height of the trailer bed. And the 240 only has 4 inches of ground clearance, it's 3 feet away from the front bumper. So, we had to get inventive with some wood. Before we get to that though, the first thing we did to be inventive was we used a drop hitch and flipped it upside down. So a normal hitch is gonna be hanging around here and that brings your hitch down maybe six inches, six and a half inches from here. But what we did is we took a five and a quarter inch drop hitch, flipped it upside down and hooked it all the way up here. Since it's a two times difference from here to the front of the trailer, from here to the back of the trailer, that lift we did in the front brought this all the way down to 16 inches instead of the original 19-ish that we had to deal with. So now we got creative with some other ramps. These U-Haul ramps are about five feet long and about an inch and a half thick. That is not going to cut it for bringing the 240 home. So we had these ramps laying around, which are about five foot nine, five foot ten, and then we had to run out and grab some uh, two by six by eight foot long boards from Menards. So this setup we've got here is exactly 16 feet from the end of the trailer to the end of the board, and we're going to be using all of that length. Because what we did here is we modeled the 240's entire wheelbase. The wheelbase is 8 feet long, and these little spikes that we clamped to it, yes it looks as dumb as it is, the little spikes we clamped are where the wheels go, and that's the exact amount of clearance that we have on this car. So each of these ends of the wood simulates the front and rear bumpers of the 240. So when you set it on the ground, this is where the bumpers would be. Now we're going to put it right up next to here, and you can see in the front, we are really close. But the good thing is, these tires are round. So really, it's going to be hitting back here, and it's going to go up at an angle like that, which means we're going to clear it. So if we keep going up, you can see that what simulates the rear bumper, or the front since we're dragging it up backwards, even at the worst case scenario, where we put it right here, this wood raises a bit, nah, we're gonna be off in the front by the time this rear wheel hits, and the bumper's completely fine. So we keep dragging it up, 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 we hit, the front bumper's still fine. Now we'll go to our next problem point. We're still clear here, while the, while the car is at its next problem point, that bumper's perfectly clear, we don't have any issues. Now at our final bumper point, is actually in the center because we're worried about bottoming out right here because down here is still only three inches but we don't have an issue we're perfectly clear here so that's what we did and that's how we figured out how we're going to load the 240 we're going to hopefully be able to show you at the lot how we load the 240 but if not then we'll be able to get some here so here's the thing is that issue that you saw at the front where we had this little bit of clearance right here Here's the thing, is even if we get our worst case scenario, which this board is meant to symbolize, and we touch a little bit there, we can just back up and we're bringing extra lumber. So we can bring this up a couple of other inches and then just start right here. Really, there's not gonna be a problem. We way over prepared. The rear bumper has a lot more clearance than the front one does. So when we drag it up backwards, the rear bumper is coming first. We're not gonna have that issue. The front bumper is not gonna scrape. Overall, we did a really good job. So, I mentioned earlier that we were using this drop hitch right here. Unfortunately, we don't all have access to one of those. But, if you don't have access to one, that doesn't mean you're out of luck. What we can do is instead of raising the hitch, we can raise the rear wheels of the truck. Just cut some pieces of wood, maybe one that's three feet, then one that's two, then one that's one foot long. And then you can just drive up each one of them while you're backing up, and that'll raise your uh, rear wheel much higher. And in turn, it'll raise your hitch, which you have to be connected to while you're loading the car, or else you're gonna flip it backwards even with all the supports that we have back there. So, I mean, that's really all there is to it. Getting a low profile car up on a U-Haul trailer is no easy feat, but there's ways to make it a little better, and this is one of them. <laughs> be cool. Hey guys, well, as expected, Aside from the cops, but we expected that at some point. They're on you already. Yeah, they already know what we're going to be doing. Well, it took us an hour to get from arriving here to the car's completely tied down and we're ready to go. It went absolutely flawless as we had shown. We had the 4,500 pound winch, 
there was already a tow hook on the other side of this bumper. And it was just a matter of lining up all our lumber. We got all of it right here. Didn't have to make any cuts whatsoever. And just dragging it up. Uh, put a battery in it just to roll the window down. And the electronics are still working. And I mean, it's dirty, but we stored it in the fairgrounds. I mean, everything gets dirty in the fairgrounds. Let's be real here. But with everything tied up, we're ready to go at just an hour. And as you can see, we were right. We only had like three or four inches of clearance on that front bumper. We did our job. Well, we got it home, just as promised. You know, we kind of overestimated our clearance here. That's not four inches. My foot's not four inches wide. It's probably two and a half or three, to be honest. But with all the ramping that we did, we made sure we had plenty of room. So. These things in my hands right here, these are dryer sheets. And we have stuffed these all throughout the car. There's still even some in there. These are to prevent mice and other like rodents from getting in there and chewing and wiring your interior, etc. Put a bunch of these in your cars, you'll never have issues again. We were going to film taking it off the trailer, but we kind of forgot, so sorry. But, I mean, it's just as you'd expect. We just turned the key, or we hooked the battery up, we turned the key, car fired right up, and just being really careful, we just rode the clutch all the way off. That's really all there was to it. So we're going to be getting to hopefully repairing the bodywork soon, and we'll check back with you.